Well, I, I thought we took a step in the right direction today and, uh, you know, really excited about how we defended, especially in the second half and uh, holding them to 22 points and did a really good job at that end of the floor and uh, happy with our bench. The, I thought they, you know, have a lot, there's a lot of things that they did don't even show up, you know, on a stat sheet. You know, I think we had uh, 18 out of 22 assisted baskets. So on offense, that's what we're, you know, striving for. And uh, we've been pretty good at that and when we played well. So happy to see the uh, sharing of the basketball. I thought we were we were rotating well, you know, closing out well. Uh, you know, it was definitely something we discussed at halftime. Uh, you know, and, and, and you know, the one we left Pope on under out of bounds, everyone kind of went to the cutter, and you know, he shot one right in front of our bench with no one around. So we just had to do a better job of contesting those, and I thought we did that in the second half. It seemed like you guys also did a better job of driving to the basket, making them foul, as opposed to just. Yeah, I mean, I thought you know we we had good balance, uh, you know, between uh, you know getting to the free throw line is huge if we can, and we were able to do that, and I'm excited about that. There were a couple of like, key stretches there in the second half where Alonzo Gaffney was able to run the center, uh, primarily just like their we talked about maybe the trust level you had in him playing with it in the center without Warren or Ortiz out there. For this type of team, this opponent, it, it made sense because they, they're both of their, their bigs. When they went to Rata and uh, Bilodeau, uh, you know, they, they could both make threes. So it, it, it made sense for, from a matchup standpoint to go that direction. This is the best Alonzo Gaffney has looked in weeks. So I'm uh, really happy and he's, he's, he had a good couple of days of practice. And, uh, you know, he looks, uh, has a renewed kind of energy about him and he, he defended very well. And, and he's kind of what I was focusing on when I was telling you, like a lot of what he brought won't show up in a box score, but him being able to switch and move his feet against guards and uh, the way he played defense, especially in the second half, was really good. Your 11 of the team talking about double figures, the Wizards took a lot of shots. You talked about just like what you guys off the ball and transition. So how important is it when that the barometer for you offensively that you're back on the team? Yeah, he's, uh, he was a live wire tonight. You know, he's just going to the offensive board. Uh, you know, he's getting in passing lanes. He was uh, he was communicating well. You know, on defense with the switches when we needed to. Um, so he he brought the appropriate leadership to the team uh, and, and experience. When when you're struggling a little bit, you're going through a tough time. Uh, I, I thought he he brought the right energy to the game and uh, and um, did all those little things that we need him to do. And uh, so that was uh, it was great for him to to see him play that way tonight. Yeah, I mean, some of it, like I touched on, was was you know we left Pope open for three. Yeah, I, you know maybe we had a few other examples of, of breakdowns, but I, you got to give credit to Oregon State and I'm uh, what what Wayne has done with, with a young team and he's got you know some really good young players to, to build around in the future. And I mean, the kid Bilodeau was going against Warren. And it looks like he looked like freaking Dirk Nowitzki, and you know on the one shot, like one leg step back, contested, you know and. They made a few shots late at the buzzer too. That's their style, and and those are demoralizing when you guard for 25, 27 seconds, and then someone hits one as the clock's winding down. So we we had to fight through some of that in the first half. But I, I liked overall where we stood. I wasn't. No one was really in panic mode. Can you explain the, the mood of the guys and just everything? Just kind of. Really See, I don't think really, yeah, n n nothing against anybody in this room or anywhere else, but. Like unless you played at at our, at our level, and, and experienced what it feels like to go through a tough stretch and and lose a few games, and no matter what you say and do in practice or or what the players sit and do in practice, there there is inherently a a, a loss of confidence. And, and tonight was uh, I guess a reintroduction to winning and and knowing how to win and close an opponent out. So I'm hoping that there's there's going to be a. Uh, carryover effect now that we've could all breathe and and uh, because I've been through it as a player and I know you I know it as a coach and a player like you lose these games some heartbreaking some not you lose four in a row you feel like are we ever going to win a game again no matter how good a season you've had so um, 
happy the guys feel good for them because they've had a great season that they, they could uh, get this out of their system and get back on the winning track.